Hello. In this video, I'm going to discuss the reaction of nitriles with hydride nucleophiles. Oh, uh, take a nitrile. So we use isobutyro nitrile. And um, if you've watched the video on the reduction of amides, you probably won't be surprised to find that nitriles like amides reduce to uh, are reduced by lithium aluminum hydride to primary amines um, or to amines just in general. I also mentioned this uh, reaction in my video on cyanohydrins a while back, um, but nitriles can be reduced to amines using lithium aluminum hydride. In fact, nitriles can be reduced to amines by catalytic hydrogenation and other, other methods as well. Uh, and then I'm not really going to spend a lot of time on this particular reaction other than it involves some nucleophilic attacks and eventually when water comes in, proton transfers. What I do want to talk about though is that like some of the other functional groups, nitriles can be reduced by diisobutyl aluminum hydride. And this reaction stops, or this reaction generates not uh, an amine, but an aldehyde after acidic aqueous hydrolysis. And I need to go and uh, make it clear that we're talking about acid now and not just water. And then this reaction is enabled by the fact that diisobutyl aluminum hydride I don't like the way this looks, so let's do ALR2. Uh, the diisobutyl aluminum hydride is initially electrophilic. Uh, and so while the nitrile is not a stellar nucleophile, it's it can be a nucleophile. There are lone pairs on that nitrogen. And that now reacting with the aluminum forms an intermediate, as you need the nitrogen that's positively charged. Uh, hydrogen is here. And now we have something that can be a nucleophilic source of hydrogen um, and you can get to this looking intermediate here with the aluminum uh, still attached to the nitrogen and this thing looks a little bit like an imine uh, but This intermediate does not react further under these conditions. Uh, and so, actually, let's leave that up here. And so once you add acid to the reaction, it protonalizes this intermediate, gets the aluminum off there, converts this into a hydrogen. Now you have an imine, and imines are... You know, it means undergo hydrolysis in aqueous acid to form aldehydes. So this is how this works. There we go. So uh, nitriles can also be a, a source of aldehydes. And so in this sequence of videos, I've covered a number of ways to get to aldehydes from the reduction of uh, acid chlorides to the reduction of nitriles. And as I wrap up my sequence of videos, I will share the ways, I will come back and sort of share all of the ways you can stop at aldehydes. So 
Next video will be about the reaction of nitriles with Grignard reagents. Uh, and then I'll move on to wrapping up this video series. Thank you for watching.